G'day gamers, Wybot here, a filthy Wybot74 with some Gears of War 5 pumpkin ball gameplay. And this gameplay, I get MVP, it went for 20 minutes, so I chopped it up a bit here and there. Uh, you got to see the connection issues. I had the highest ping, but I got MVP. My ping was about 168, so it had me at a disadvantage, but also it had me an advantage at times, but whatever. Um, so I'm basically just going to come out with it now. You probably noticing the music's a bit happy in the background because this is probably going to be the most negative Gears of War video I've ever made. And it, it, it's going to be harsh, peeps. It's going to be harsh. But uh, I thought I might as well make the music uplifting because I ain't playing this game anymore until the next update comes out, until they improve the lances and they improve the connection. And they finally do something because they're not listening to the community. Their microtransactions make EA look like, you know, Red Cross or... Vinnies, they seriously do, and they're not listening to the community as much as they want, and they've gone, and I've seen countless videos, countless videos on how they're punishing skilled players, and I'm sick and tired of seeing so many people, so many people defend them for doing what they're doing. It's just got to the point where I just don't enjoy playing it anymore. I just think it's, it's, it's not Gears to me. Gears 5 is not Gears. I don't even know what the title is. I basically got to say is, the title's going to be The Coalition of Totally F Gears of War, and they don't seem to care. And they don't. They, 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 you know, I just chat to the Perfidy, Dimitri, Freestyle Rhyme, and all those guys. You know, they, these are my mates. These are all my skill players, better skill players than me, all the suckers and all them. They've all been punished. And there's a guy called QBZ, whatever, and there's a clip I saw on the Gears of War page, and they, they asked him when he was streaming, you know, PUBG, why aren't you playing Gears of War 5? And he just laughed. He said, well, I'm not playing that game because one thing that attracted me to Gears in the first place was an Asher. And what they've done with the Asher, they might as well just remove it. Because what they've done is they've given you six bullets. If you don't active relay properly, you're down to six. You don't get, you know, supercharged or extra shots or whatever. They've limited you. And if you want to try and clutch, even though they've taken the clutch out, they're going to put this great big crimson omen on there so you can't clutch as well. And they've slowed down your movement. And he said, so basically they want you to use the Lancer. And there's much better games out there which are... Better using for shooting down games like COD and PUBG and everything else, or Rainbow Six Siege. And you can't argue with that, because he's 100% right. And anybody who says, oh, but you're just windy, you know, because you want to use the nationalized stuff, it's what set the game out from every other freaking shooter on the platform, you noobs. You idiots. You're the reason it's going to shit. And the only reason it sold well was because of Game Pass. That's why they released it too early. And it's just like, they're not listening, oh, man, and so, the one thing everybody's talking about, oh, whatever, the pro scene, I can't wait to get on the pro scene, whatever, well, have you heard anything about esports? Because they, they really promoted it during Gears of War 4, but the, yeah, this game is making Gears of War 4 look good. Fuck, this game's making Judgment look good. Like, and that's why I've got the happy music, because look at this gameplay I've got here, man, like, seriously, I am... <sighs> I, look, I shouldn't have got MVP, and the graphics are great, I'm not going to lie, the graphics are good, I think they've got their movement pretty good, but they've just got to nerf the Lancer and up the power of the Nasher and bring it back to what it was. The Lancer is a support rifle, not the main rifle, not the main shooter, it's a support rifle. For those of you that never played it before, the Lancer is to get you in situations where you are stuck and then they come in close with the Nasher to finish you off. Simple as that. Now, I just said to the guys in the group chat, if Phil Spencer, Uncle Phil, just came out tomorrow and said, look, you know what, me and a small team, which it wouldn't take much to, uh, we're going to remaster Gears of War 3. We're going to remaster, look at this, this is, look at that. Like, there you go, unreal, isn't it? Um, he said, we're going to remaster Gears of War 3, you've got to re-earn those skins and so forth, we'll sell it for 120 bucks. Seriously, if you did that, it's going to be on our server servers. It's going to have local servers in Australia. It's going to be basically the same mechanics. We're just going to improve the graphics a bit. You get achievements if you play this, that, and the other. And you've got to earn the characters like you had to originally in Gears of War 3. It would outsell this game. It would outsell so many other games. It'll bring the community back. And it'll be better to watch as competitive than the last two. And if you think that's not the case, you need a good swift kick in the nuts and a brick to the head. It's as simple as that. The one thing that attracted me to Gears of War was raw, up in your face, and it was skill. It wasn't kill streaks, wasn't perks. Yes, connection played a part of it, but at the end of the day, it came down to one on one with the Nasha, movement, and tactics. And the combination of the Lancer as well as the Nasha. And this game just doesn't have that shit. 
this game is confused it to the to the nth degree. To play Escalation the way it's changed, you're going to need somebody from the CIA to work tactics on that mofo. You're going to have to get Vladimir Putin's right hand man and say, yeah, this is how you attack and approach this game. Now, I know the pro players like, yeah, we can't wait to do an NRG and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, where's the support? Where's the talk about? When's the first event? Give you a bit of a heads up, people. Call of Duty, yes. Call of Duty, we know their team's coming out now. We know when their first event is. Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege. Hell, even Halo's hinting at it. Halo's hinting at a World Championship, but they haven't had one for a while with Halo 5. So, what the fuck are they doing? What the fuck are the Coalition doing? You know, you got Rob Ferguson, and you got, you know, and they're not even communicating to their fan base well at all. Yeah, like, okay, so Infinity Ward and Activision and Call of Duty generally in the past has not been the best communicators, and they've got a much bigger studio. They're nailing it with this game. They really are. They're, they actually are. They've made a lot of big mistakes in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Don't get me wrong. They have. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but they've made a lot of mistakes, and they're addressing it, and they're telling the teams that, and they're telling all the players in the community know that. They know it and they're leaking about what's going to be in the competitive scene they're not keeping you in the dark they're basically keeping you on edge go to the coalition you got them and i'll link paul livo's video in there he goes into great depth you know when you got their developer streams just the way they're answering the way they're calling on now the thing is what you got to understand here people we pay for a finished product that's not finished so if you went and bought a car a toaster Hell, if you even bought an Xbox that didn't come with a controller, you'd send it back, wouldn't you? Well, how are we expected to accept this game? At top dollar, like I paid and other people paid top dollar, our hard earned dollars or whatever dollars, and it's not finished and they're not communicating to us. Why are people still defending their actions? It's disgusting. It really is. Um, I, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm, it's just, yeah. And so this is the most negative video to make a Gears of War. I'm, I'm glad I'm not stuck as a permanent content creator. I mean, my channel is basically Gears of War, but I'm going to try and branch out on other areas because this this game, it's... 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 Like, I should have... It's... 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 I, it's... That... It's... It's... I, it's shit! They've stuffed it. They've fucked it. They've ruined it. Hell, even the campaign has glitches in it. I couldn't be bothered going back to the campaign. Look, it looks beautiful, runs smooth, but I couldn't be fucked doing it. They're not doing it right. They're screwed it. And I don't get the rush and the feel and the urge to go back and play Gears like I used to. I prefer to play Gears War 4 even more than this. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. In the community, oh my god, the people come out and defend this game saying, oh, you guys just can't handle it because it's changed and it's just adapt. Adapt? Adapt? You can't with a Lancer, you fucktard. You're that bad, you can't even play Call of Duty, a proper shooter. you got to go on this one, whether it's OP. And it's it's just not, I mean, suppose when you, when you play on Escalation, but once again, not many people in Australia play Escalation because they just play social. They don't want to play ranked, which is, just makes it even more worse, and the game just goes to shit. And you're better off playing Black Ops 2 on your old Xbox 360 on fucking McDonald's Wi-Fi than trying to play this game on Xbox One X on NBN. Wow, that just really came out then. So, my thoughts on Gears of War 5 at the moment, not even a 4 out of 10, not even worth it. I might even go for a refund. I think it's it's coming too late. Look how many shots that guy put into that bloke, and they had similar ping. Like, he put two good solid shots, and the guy's like, yeah. Even he's saying, fuck out, I survived that. Like, come on, Rod. Come on, Coalition. You're screwing us. Your most loyal fan base, the ones that talk up the game and most content creators that you invited to your event, you basically said... You talented fuckwits, because you can bounce and you can shoot with an Asher, we're going to punish you, so the game's going to go to shit. So we're just going to give it to every fucking noob who's just got game parts and think they're awesome. Because you know what? We don't want, we don't want multiplayer games to be too hard for our gamers. No, no, no. So what we're going to do, my folks, is we're going to fucking OP the Lancer and nerf the Nasher. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. 
because you know what it makes a lot of fucking sense, doesn't it? So give an example, Halo 5, still going, four years later. This is not even going to last fucking five months. <laughs> like, go fucking figure, mate. Go fucking figure. Yeah, I, and it's just... I don't know, man. It's just not the same anymore. Is it because I'm getting older? I'm getting cranky? Out? No, it's because this game is just... And I'm not going to defend it anymore. I'm not a blind fanboy. I'm an honest fanboy. And that's what the Gears community is all about. If you fucked up and you've done shit, they'll tell you about it. And they're fucked up. They've done major 10 shits. And guess what? They just don't care. They just don't seem to be addressing that much. Oh, we're going to nerf this. We're going to do that. And yeah. But keep on playing. Keep on buying our overly you know, ridiculous price packs and everything. And, and this stupid pumpkin ball thing, and it's got to be great for Halloween because that's just what everybody wants, and stupid jumpers for your skins and your characters. And it's ridiculous, you know, Tour of Duty to get because they've got the best skins in the game. You can only get it from Tour of Duty, and everyone can do it is by basically paying to get these Tour of Duties, and that's about it. So that's, that's how they're doing it. You know, you can't earn it this way and the other. So, I don't know, man. Like, like, like I said, it's like if... Could you imagine if Activision Infinity War came out and said, right, there's no perks, skill streaks, snipers, or anything next Call of Duty. It's going to be hardcore all the way, and you're going to be starting with shotguns. That's basically what the Coalition have done. They've turned the game on itself against its core fans, not listen to them, and just put it out there saying it's finished when it's not, and expects us to eat it up like there's no tomorrow. And, well, you know what? I'm one of those hardcore Gears fans that's going to say, enough is enough. The Coles in the fuck this game. You will not see me really stream it or do another video past this point until they nerf the Lancers at least and try and make some improvements on the connection because I hear that Xbox has, Microsoft has the Asura servers, so I don't understand why I have no issues with Halo 5, but I have major issues with this game, and you know I've got good internet. This video will take me fucking four minutes to upload, so it's got nothing to do with my connection. It's all to do with this company and their tight-ass weight and their potato connection because they've done nothing but make fucking this game, make Gears War Judgment look good. Frag and tap, good days and only. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Next video will be happier, but it won't be Gears War 5. See you in the next video.